So Dan, for me, one of the real game changers of this uh, the live unit is the fact that its side image on Lowrance has all of a sudden got really, really good. Now there are a couple of frequencies available in the transducer that only costs four hundred dollars retail price. Yeah. Um, where do you use which one, and why is it so good? Yeah, so the, the eight hundred kilohertz one you're going to use sort of in the back, sort of shallow water, you know, um, creeping up to sort of edges of the banks and whatnot. We don't need to, where you know, range isn't really doesn't need to be sacrificed. Um, if you want to go greater distances, so you can change over to four fifty five kilohertz and you have that little bit better range. Yeah. Um, and I think that the message to take home is that not necessarily more kilohertz equals better side imaging. Um, the technical guys we talked to today said that they got their best results with 800. They go, could go higher than 800 and they didn't necessarily get better range or better resolution. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, correct. So yeah, we, we tested all different types of frequencies and um, and ways that the, the transducer was constructed when we were, we were building the new active imaging transducer. And we found that 800 kilohertz was that real sweet spot. So it doesn't sacrifice range. We've increased the detailing close and it's just that perfect um, upgrade to a total scan transducer. Yep, so there you go. There's some of the points about the new Lowrance HDS Live. It's going to be in stores in late October. Keep an eye out for it because it is a cool piece of gear.